If you want to get access to what I'm about to show you, click the link in the video. But I have to warn you, this is absolute insanity. You can use natural language to generate a variety of worlds and explore them interactively, all with a single text prompt. Let's see what it's like to spend some time in a world. Genie 3 has real-time interactivity, meaning that the environment reacts to your movements and actions. You're not walking through a pre-built simulation. Everything you see here is being generated live as you explore it. And Genie 3 has world memory. That's why environments like this one stay consistent. World memory even carries over into your actions. For example, when I'm painting on this wall, my actions persist. I can look away and generate other parts of the world. But when I look back, the actions I took are still there. And Genie 3 enables promptable events, so you can add new events into your world on the fly. Something like another person, or transportation, or even something totally unexpected. You can use Genie to explore real-world physics and movement, and all kinds of unique environments. You can generate worlds with distinct geographies, historical settings, fictional environments, and even other characters. We're excited to see how Genie 3 can be used for next-generation gaming and entertainment. And that's just the beginning. Worlds can help with embodied research, training robotic agents before working in the real world, or simulating dangerous scenarios for disaster preparedness and emergency training. World models can open new pathways for learning, agriculture, manufacturing, and more. This is the matrix. This, this is the matrix. We now have the matrix. Google just released this 30 minutes ago, and this is the latest version of, I don't even know if I can call this video generation anymore, because it's literally, I mean, they just need to trademark Matrix. They just need to trademark the Matrix, that, because that's what this is. Now, a few months ago, I released some videos showing how there was an AI-generated Minecraft game. And it kind of felt like, you know, going through a dream. Uh, it was a little bit wonky, and it wasn't that great, but it showed the proof of concept of having video generation, but, you know, like gamified. This is such a massive escalation beyond that, that quite frankly, it's scary. Now, look, if you guys don't know who I am, hello, my name is Connor. I actually just finished my master's degree studying data science and machine learning, which, hey, man, with this drop in, that feels like really good timing, doesn't it? And I have just been absolutely fascinated in this tech for, I don't know, the last half a decade at this point. But I feel like we are now running at this exponential AI self-improvement curve. I mean, this is Moore's Law in action, where things are progressing every single month at an exponentially faster pace. And this is proof of that. Now, if for whatever reason you don't understand what you're looking at here, this is AI video generation, but it gives you the ability to control what is happening inside of the video generation like it's a video game. And the fact that now they have this world memory concept where you can actually move through spaces and then look behind yourself and it stays persistent, that's quite the game changer that actually turns this much more into a video game. Because as you all may or may not remember with previous models that were shown replicating Minecraft gameplay and stuff like that, it was this really weird experience where you would like turn around and everything was different because it didn't have the ability to persistently remember what was behind you or what was, you know, across the hill or whatever. This new technology from Google allegedly solves that problem. And I believe that this is still only one piece of tech that has been dropped and knowing how AI typically works, we're probably going to start seeing AI like this drop significantly more over the coming months because, you know, whenever they drop a new image generator, then there's 50 other image generators that all get dropped. There's probably going to be one that comes in from, I don't know, China or whatever. Um, but this is, this is setting a new precedent 
on what is possible with AI. The fact that you can actually use this to not just prototype games now, but also generate entire worlds. And as I'm going to be showing in some videos here in the near future, there's also going to be 4D Gaussian generation, which if you don't know what that is, it is using AI to literally generate an entire three-dimensional world that you can then import into Unreal Engine or into Unity or whatever. That is going to absolutely change the entire landscape of game development. But for anybody who is watching my channel who is a game developer, if you are worried about stuff like this taking your job, I actually have something for you. If you want to get in touch with me and have a conversation, I've got my entire calendar open. You can go and book a call because one of the main reasons I got my master's degree studying data science and machine learning is because I myself wanted to figure out like what jobs are going to be left after AI uh, takes over everything. And I actually have, I have figured that out. So if you want to have that conversation completely free, no charge, you can book a call with me. I would love to talk to you. But as this shows, clearly, we've got some choppy times ahead for the entire software industry. And boy, oh boy, I am buckled in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Is this something you're impressed with? Is this something that you'd be interested in using? Please tell me. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe. And of course, I will have links where as soon as this is available, or if you want more information on this, or you want to be able to utilize this, click the link in the video or down in the description, and you can get on the wait list to get access to this and use it for yourself. But I am very interested to see where Google takes this tech, and I am assuming you all are too. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.